Ever since I got a VR headset, I have always said that seated simulation games is where VR shines the most for me. Think of VTOL VR, Flight Simulator 2020, Vox Machina, iRacing, etc. So you can imagine I was pretty stoked when I heard that Microprose was releasing a VR version for Carrier Command 2. But does it live up to my expectations? That is what we are going to find out in this quick video review of Carrier Command 2 for VR. Let me first quickly explain to you what Carrier Command 2 is. Carrier Command 2 VR is the real-time strategy game that puts you in command of a futuristic carrier capable of deploying a vast array of aircraft and amphibious units. You can compete against AI or human players and hop into every single vehicle to take matters into your own hands. As a player, you will be spending all of your time in the bridge of the carrier, plotting out new plans and strategies to capture islands and ultimately facing off against another carrier. But before you can eliminate that carrier, you need enough resources. And resources you get by capturing islands that offer different rewards. You have islands that have fuel, offer blueprints for small munitions, big munitions or turrets. All islands are guarded by AI and the more shields it shows on the map, the harder and the more defendant the island is. So you might want to start out with level 1 islands. As soon as you have captured an island, you need to set up logistics so that the resources are transferred to your ship and or the warehouse. The moment you think you have plenty of all, then you are ready to hunt down the enemy carrier. No problem. The games you can customize to your own liking. When starting up the game, you can choose with how many AI or human teams you want to play and with how many islands you want to start. Campaigns with 64 islands take of course a long time, while playing with around 20-25 is doable in one session. When you click start, you will enter the bridge of your carrier. First thing you notice is that the game uses a voxel approach to when it comes to graphics. Carrier Command 2 looks good, but definitely not breathtaking by any means. Does this matter? Nah because this game makes it run pretty smooth in my VR headset with a 1080 Ti and i9-9900K. I've played the game both on a 2D screen and in VR. And I can tell you one thing, I am not going to play this game anymore on a 2D screen. I mean, to be able to operate the ship in VR feels so immersive. And as we take a closer look to what you are able to operate, you can divide the bridge into some sectors. In the left you can arrange the logistics and set up different vehicle loadouts. In the middle you can steer the ship and can control to where the power is needed. And somewhat more on the right you can activate the weapon systems and give all ground and air units orders or even take direct control over them. All these screens are controlled separately, so it's clear that the developers had multiplayer in mind. The game is just far too much for one person to manage. Well, it is doable, but not fun. You can also not play with friendly AIs in the bridge, so you need real players. And having played multiple games, the game plays best with three or four players in the bridge. If having more people, it is better to appoint them to another carrier and get some PvP in the game. As for the VR controls, simple. The game offers teleportation or smooth movements. You can also scale the world to your own fitting. They are good. I even find the VR controls working better than the 2D controls. It is nice when standing in front of a screen that you can activate it and set out orders without having to sit in the chair in front of you. Also nice is that in VR, when giving out the orders, you can also just look around you. But I have to say, when the game got released, it did not work at all. The developers, however, have been on top of it and been releasing some great updates that make VR work. And they even promised new updates that make VR even better for this game. And while the VR implementation right now is good, it is really immersive and the game plays well with friends, there are some junky bugs. The routing of the vehicles is sometimes very clunky or they get stuck against a rock. And in order to get them released, you have to manually control them. And I encountered also a game breaking bug that at one point the air and ground vehicles did not want it to be deployed. We could not fix it, so that was the end of the campaign. There was also no lobby with open servers, so therefore you need to find a group of players and schedule sessions. Keep in mind though, that if you don't have players to play this game with, I run a dedicated VR community, so if you need players and you want to play with a group, join us. If you like strategic simulation games and have a VR headset laying around, this is a must buy. Do keep in mind that this is not a fast action game and there are moments where you are just traveling in a ship doing absolutely nothing for a while. Capturing islands can also at one point feel somewhat repetitive. Well, 
I hope this video gave you a quick insight of what the game is about. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the latest VR games and updates. You can also check out my video where we conquer an island in Carrier Command 2. Or check out my review for How I Expect You To Die 2, which is also a very nice game. I hope to see you in my next video. Ciao ciao!